we have a big Zara box today, people. It is so heavy. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing you a few of my favorite pieces from the Zara New In section. We are coming into autumn, it is creeping up. Is it too early to say? autumn i don't know but this is like a little bit of a summer to autumn transitional haul i say that there's definitely i think there's definitely a coat in here there's some cute things in here and i am excited to get stuck in so without further ado if you want to see what i picked up keep on watching also if you like these kind of videos subscribe i would love to have you back for more okay i'm gonna start this all off with not the favorite but definitely a favorite this jumper i could not resist i haven't owned a gray jumper in such a long time this one is actually a really nice gray tone i think it's going to work with my skin tone sometimes gray really doesn't work for me this is a bougie jumper this jumper it's made of cashmere which means it feels lovely but it also means that the price tag is not so lovely this cost me 109 pounds so it better fit like a dream or it's going back i got a size small i'm not sure if that is going to work for me i'm never really sure on jumpers anymore so we'll see if it works out i kind of wanted like not a regular fit like a little bit of an oversized fit that perfect fit for kind of pairing with leather trousers you know my autumn winter vibe every year it will never change i'm so sorry i'm so boring but this would be perfect with leather look trousers maybe a nice little gold chain very like rosie huntington whiteley vibes i'm pretty sure there's an exact outfit where she's worn that and it was so cute so we'll see if we can recreate that little look it has been a long time since i have worn a pair of boots you guys <laughs> having to relearn how to walk in these also had to check them for spiders before i put them on because it really legit has been that long but anyway i paired the cashmere jumper with my zara leather look trousers and then this little pair of like croc leather boots from Topshop. I've had them for a few years now and I will re-wear them over and over and over again every year. They're such a great hero staple piece in my wardrobe but anyway I love the jumper. It is so soft, so cozy. I feel like the length hits really well just where I want it to on my leg like it covers my bum it just works really really nicely with the leather look leggings for me when jumpers are this length they are like the staple piece and then the leather trousers just kind of like take a little bit of a back seat support the jumper nicely but it's all about the jumper in this in this situation so cute and i think it works really nicely with a little chain necklace just a really nice easy piece to throw on during autumn and winter you can layer it up under jackets, coats, that kind of thing, but also wear it on its own because it's cashmere, it's gonna keep you so warm and so snuggly. So I am very happy with it. I would love it if Zara could do a black version of this. That would be my dream. And a white, I would like a white, but mostly a black because my color palette last year, the outfits that I had the most success with were black and then I would wear gold accessories, but I really like the gray, it's nice and casual but pairs really nicely with the leather look leggings which is a key piece for me during autumn winter so yeah very happy with this do we think it's worth keeping is it too expensive what do you guys think let me know okay i also picked up a couple of basics i'm not sure where the other one of this is i picked up a black and a white little like finely knitted sleeveless top these are I think meant to be a little bit crop on me they'll just be like a regular-ish length that I can tuck into like jeans or trousers or skirts that kind of vibe but I thought these would make a great basic to have in my wardrobe when I don't want to wear like the Zara bodies they go with everything but sometimes I don't want that vibe I want like it to not be so noticeable that I'm wearing a Zara body these feel a little bit more elevated because they are like a fine knit so it's not quite like just a chuck on basic tank top or a chuck on basic body it feels a little bit more elevated than that so i thought it worked perfectly with some of the items that are coming up in this haul and here is the black one very cute got both of these in a size small and they cost 11 99 i will link everything as always in the description box for you guys to go and check out if there's any more like info that you want okay so the little knitted tops i like them i do think they work better if you are not wearing a bra which is something no one wants to do <laughs> mm, maybe apart from those of us that actually don't like wearing bras like i hate wearing a bra i think this looked better without wearing any kind of bra underneath just because wearing a bra actually kind of like pushes your skin up a little bit here and then i'm finding like because the shoulder parts of this are so wide the neckline or like arm line really comes like so far under your arm which i don't love and i do think can be quite unflattering like the more of a like 
supportive bra I was wearing, the more like my skin was being pushed up and then it was kind of creating like weird shapes in the material here. I've just gone for this bandeau bra, which is like super, it's like really tight, but kind of supports you, but without like doing too much. It normally sits quite invisibly under a lot of tops and I'm still finding like, you can kind of tell that it's there with these. So I wouldn't say the white in this is the most flattering. I'm really not loving the fact that it comes so close under your arm line as well. I just don't, I don't rate that. I don't think it's flattering. I know we all have our struggles with the Zara bodies and the fact that they are so low under the arm that it makes wearing a bra hard, but I would say this is like almost having like a diff, this is having a different effect for me. I'm not, I'm just not loving this. But anyway, I've paired it with a pair of blue jeans, which are from Zara again, and then the Topshop boots, just as a nice little basic pairing to kind of show off these tops. I think the black one is gonna be much better because you won't get like the shadows that you do with a white top. But yeah, this is what it looks like. You can really see when I lean over here what I'm kind of like talking about. I'm just not sure they're the most flattering fit. We'll try the black, we'll see. Okay, so the black I like much more. It really sits a little bit lower on the arm. I am so confused by these tops and the fact that they fit slightly differently. But because of that, it is much more comfortable to wear. I don't feel, I don't like being able to feel material like tight under my arms if I'm not wearing like a long sleeve top. I don't know. It's not what you want when you want to wear a sleeveless top. Like you want your arms to be kind of like freer. So very strange that it does that. I also think it comes off almost slightly longer on the waist than the white. So my advice if you're going to get one of these tops would be get the black one. The neckline is also a little bit looser as well, like a little bit more stretchy, weirdly. The white has a much tighter neckline and RIP you if you're trying to get it on or off whilst wearing full face of makeup. It's not, it's not going to work for you. I definitely found out the hard way. So the black is definitely my favourite. I also think it just works really nicely with a blue pair of jeans. It looks very cute. Yeah, I'm into it. What do you think? Team white top, team black top. I just think black is so much more practical, but the fact that it fits differently around the arms is an absolute winner for me as well. And to pair with my cute basics, I've picked up some trousers. I love a good pair of trousers so much. The first pair are a black pair of trousers with an elasticated waist, which I love. These are in a size small. The waist looks kind of big for a size small. I don't know if they're meant to be like lower rise. They've got pockets. Love that. They're like a very like work trousery type material, which I really like. So definitely like a smart pair of trousers. And I think they're kind of like a regular fit. I'm hoping they'll be a little bit loose. I don't know. But what I really love is that they have a little split hem down the bottom. This is going to be impossible to see because they are such a dark color. So I will show you them on. But I thought they would look really, really cute with the black knitted kind of crop top. They're nice and light as well. So a really perfect one for autumn, not too thick. Especially when we're transitioning into autumn, I still find the weather so warm. Like we're coming up to autumn and it's still 21, 22 degrees here in the UK, which is fairly warm if you're wearing like a thick pair of trousers, you know? So these feel nice and light. Hopefully they will be nice and light so that I can get a lot of wear out of them in the transitional months. I think this would look so cute. Like I said, with the black crop and then with either like a trench over the top, a blazer, leather jacket. I'm hoping they'll be a very like easy piece to style up in my wardrobe. So the black trousers I am holding in because they're a little bit roomy. They definitely run, I would say a little bit large or are meant to be worn lower down on the waist. This is where they sit if I am not kind of like holding them in. I'm not sure whether I should get an extra small and try out the extra small and hope that they sit a little bit higher and then it would also be a little bit further off the ground as well because with them sitting lower down like this, they're actually a little bit too long for me even wearing heels. I mean, I could wear them with a body and then obviously I wouldn't have my stomach showing, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure, I'm just slightly confused. And then I also picked up a pair of white culottes. These are actually in a very, light. They feel almost like linen-y. Are they linen? Let me see. They're a cotton material. So very like summery actually. I wasn't expecting them to be like they look very sheer. This could be a no from me but I'm not too worried because I have got my Zara white 
they're kind of like they're almost like suit trousers i think they're called like the full length trousers i just wanted like a slightly more relaxed version of them and i thought these would have been really cute and a little bit more like flowy but i think they might be a bit too thin which is a little bit annoying because i would have liked to have had something that i could wear fully on, into autumn as well but i'll style them up anyway some of you may have holidays coming up and they will work perfectly for that even just for like the last remains of the summer month they are a really lovely pair this could be a pair that i pop into my summer wardrobe and then have ready for next summer as well as well as getting some wear out of them over like the next month or so i'll style them up in like an autumn -y way for you guys who knows i might end up loving them so these trousers would probably be my dream white trousers if only they were double lined because you guys can you see the back you can basically see my entire bum Zara, what were you thinking <laughs> these would have to be like a holiday pair of trousers which i do think they would be so beautiful for this with like a little bikini on the top would be so cute especially if it's like a structured bikini that can kind of work a little bit as a top as well or like a really gorgeous swimming costume would be so so nice like even in the evening if you didn't have underwear that was just very visible i don't know you could wear this bag little pair of heels cute top it would be so cute, but no, as you can see, my entire underwear. Such a shame, because I do think they fall so nicely. Can you get something double lined? Probably. Is it worth having them double lined? Probably not. Yeah, they're so nice, so nice. These are like my perfect pair of trousers. I really love them. I just love the way they have the band across here. They've got the like little pleated bits pockets i actually really like pockets on trousers like this as well because it kind of gives you a little poof out which i think is really really cute especially if you've got the band here which usually like helps to cinch in i could even have this like taken in a little bit that would be really cute yeah such a shame such a shame like my whole bum you can just you've seen way more of me in these trousers than you ever needed to see so these trousers are going back so sad the next item that i am super excited about is this pair of jeans i'm really hoping these jeans work out for me these look on the website like they're going to be the blue version of my white they're meant to be like culotte style jeans right guys but obviously i'm five foot for anyone that's new here because i always get asked in these videos for anyone that's new here i am five foot two my legs are very very short so with that in mind these culotte jeans that i bought from zara are basically like a full length like wide leg and i really really like them i have enjoyed wearing them so much over the summer and i'll probably get a lot of wear out of them into the winter to be honest as well they make like a really great like date night option for a like they look smart but they're really really comfortable i think feel really good in them which is obviously the most important thing they work really well with any of the zara bodies as well so i just find them a really easy piece to throw together pop on a little pair of heels with them even like a small pair of heels to dress them up but they also work perfectly with flats as well they have been a go-to for me for like day night honestly love them so much so i'm hoping that this blue pair they look very similar i'm really hoping that they are going to be it for me and i've just noticed that they actually have a raw hem so this is going to work really well for me because actually if i wanted them to be a little bit shorter in the length just got really distracted by a squirrel sorry guys if i want to make them a bit shorter to just adjust the length slightly i can so this could work very well for me these are the wide leg crop jeans i got these in a size 36 yeah size 36 i can't remember what that is in the uk but yeah fingers crossed they fit me nicely i love this color of jean as well i have these in the mum jeans from zara as well love them so much so yeah i'm hoping that these will fit really beautifully and i'll get a lot of wear out of them i thought these would look so nice with both the black and the white little knitted kind of crop tops that i bought i love this color jean with the white top though love it so much and then with like a white cardigan thrown over the top if you're just like hanging out at home i think it's really gorgeous or even with a shirt like this one thrown over the top and the body that i'm wearing which is like a strapless zara body it will work so beautifully with that as well so i just think these are obviously denim is so versatile in your wardrobe but this kind of pair of jeans i find dresses up or casuals down really really well so we're going to try those on now okay so the blue jeans i love so because of that i thought i would give you a few different ways to wear them just in case you're a bit like i'm not sure because when i first saw a pair of jeans like this i was like I'm really not sure how I'd wear that. So I've got a few different like shoe options to show you. Same top, it's really nice and easy like pairing the top with the jeans, but I always found like shoes were a little bit difficult. So I've got very like casual daytime, nice daytime, and then like an evening shoe, and it works with all of them. So 
casual daytime. I've gone for my Converse and that is because the length of these, like where the jean kind of hits my leg, is where the backs of my Vader trainers also hits and they kind of get a bit caught up together. But Converse, because they go up a little bit higher on the ankle, work really, really nicely. I've just paired it with a booty bag to kind of like jazz it up a little bit. But yeah, a leather jacket then thrown over this or a trench works really, really nicely. But yeah, if you get annoyed by like your shoes and your jeans kind of like catching each other, I would definitely recommend Converse because the fact that they go up higher in the ankle is amazing and very, very comfy. And I think it just looks really, really cute as well. The next shoe option are my little YSL sandals, which I love so much. Zara actually do a dupe of these. So if they're still on the website, I will link them. I think they definitely do them in like orange at the moment, but I'm not sure about all of the colours. But like I said before about trying to keep the footwear really slim, these are a really nice dainty pair of sandals which aren't too bulky on the foot. They're quite smart so they work really well for evening as well as for daytime. And I've just gone for my little YSL. This is the Raffia Cassandra bag. It's basically impossible to find. If you find it, you're an absolute hero. And your shopping skills are better than mine because I've looked everywhere trying to link it and I can't find it anywhere. But yeah, I think this works really, really nicely with this whole kind of outfit combo. It's a really summery bag because of the like strawness of it, but then the black trim that kind of makes it work really well with like an all black outfit, which then in turn makes it work really well as an evening bag in the summer as well. And it also works really nicely with the evening shoe choice as well. So my evening shoe choice are these Zara sandals. They've got a little heel to them, nothing too crazy. And they're really cute and strappy, very, very dainty. And I really like the pairing of them with these jeans because the jeans aren't like super long. They don't cover my feet. So they actually let the shoes shine through, which is really cute. The evening, you could keep the knitted crop top. It works really, really well. It's very, very versatile as are the jeans. Or you could swap out for like a longer sleeve body or a body that's a little bit more strong structured or formal. I think the Zara ones, the black ones work really nicely with this as well. You then wouldn't have any like stomach showing through here so it would keep you a little bit warmer for the evening. But yeah, hopefully if you're on the fence about the jeans, this has maybe helped a little bit. I absolutely love them. I just think they're so cute and such a great piece, especially for summer going into autumn. And then we have another pair of jeans, which Lots of you, when I did my shopping for denim video, I will link up here if you haven't seen that. I did basically, I just ordered all the jeans off of Zara. It was really fun. Lots of you said you felt that a straight leg jean would work really well on me. So I thought I would pick up a straight leg pair of jeans. So we're going to see how this works on me. It might not work out, to be honest. This might be a pair of jeans maybe that I have to wear as like an evening option with a heel because with a straight leg, the problem with a straight leg is that it just doesn't look as great if you have to roll it up. Mom jeans are great because the roll up is very acceptable. Like that's how they're kind of made to be a lot of the time. It's very like 80s vibes, like it just works. Whereas I feel like a straight leg, it's really weird if you have to roll the bottom up. So it might be a great option for my figure, but not necessarily for my height. So we're gonna try it out, but I really liked the wash of these blue jeans. Again, I got them in A36. And these are the straight fit, high rise, straight leg, ankle, rigid. I never know if this is what they're actually even called on the website, but I will link them. I just love the wash. Such a gorgeous blue wash. Okay, so the straight leg jeans are okay. They're definitely not my favorite. I prefer the more like flared out lot style jeans that I tried on earlier. They are just my favorite fit of jean at the moment. I think because they are so like, fitted around your waist and the upper part of your hips and then they flare out so beautifully in all the right places. Like I love those. Whereas these kind of do something similar but they feel a little bit more blocky. I think I'd definitely prefer them in a darker wash in hindsight, maybe a black or a dark blue, which I also think is very flattering. Or even a white, I think these could look really lovely in white but yeah just to show you the blue wash this is what they look like i'm gonna try them on with my converse and see what they look like but for me i think straight leg jeans would definitely be very cute with heels as you can already see it's been my go-to i think because they do run a little bit longer on me so they run almost down to the bottom of my foot so they'll definitely sit a little bit weird if i'm wearing trainers whereas a heel i think they work really nicely and it just kind of lets the material fall a little bit better. So yeah, this is what they look like on. I do really like them and the sizing is really great as well. They're very, very comfortable. They don't feel too tight at all, which is really nice. So yeah, I do like them. I just, I think I need to play about with styling them up a little bit more, but as like a basic outfit kind of formula, they do work really, really nicely with black heels and a black top. So a really nice, like casual going out to dinner type outfit. Okay, I definitely feel like I'm 15 again. What do we think? I kind of don't hate it, I'm not gonna lie. 
I don't hate it. I think what I would do again if I were to wear this outfit is just to go for the bougie bag, just to make me feel like I'm not 15 years old again, like I have grown up. The converse love just hasn't left me. Yeah, let me know. What do you think? Hate it or rate it? Drop it down below. The next item, I'm so, so excited to try on and style up. I picked up this like silky, is this silk? Is it satin? What is it? It's a shirt, either way. I'm not trying to keep you in suspense. I'm not sure if it's silk or satin. I am gonna have to find the label at some point. I'll confirm when I try this on. Anyway, I got this shirt and it's a size medium. It costs $19.99 and I just thought that this would be so cute either with black trousers, just like re left really loose, not even like really tucked in, or over leggings. And then maybe with a trench coat over the top for the autumn, winter months, like really nice kind of like wavy hair, that kind of like really effortless, like I haven't thought about this look, but I've thought about this look kind of vibes with a really cute handbag which you guys will see soon there's this particular handbag that i'm like envisioning wearing with this and it being just so cute yeah pair of trainers maybe a pair of converse with it i'm just loving my converse at the moment or even my veja trainers just thrown on just a really simple casual look but i thought this would work wonderfully as well with a lot of my denim and a pair of heels in the evening for like going out over like the summer to autumn transitional season i thought that would be really cute so yeah i'm really excited to try this on i don't know if i'd button it up the whole way to be honest i think i probably this pillow is like attacking me i think i probably leave it a little bit open and give it a really relaxed vibe it could also work really nicely left open as well potentially with like a cute bralette underneath i don't know i just think this would be such a versatile piece in my wardrobe and it's not something that i have so fingers crossed it fits well i went for a medium because i'd like it to be a little bit like flowy oversized i probably in hindsight could have gone with a small and had the same effect but yeah i'll try it on and you can kind of like tell me if you think i should size down the shirt is so nice i really like it i like how oversized it is on me and the way it flows it just looks really lovely with a pair of leggings and some leather boots it's such a like elevated basic like something that's so simple to throw on but looks so so nice and you can dress up really quickly and really easily this would be the perfect shirt for me to wear out to dinner it's so like nice and light and flowy like i could eat all the pizza in this and you would never know and then with leggings underneath so stretchy so comfortable great for a food baby love that I just paired it with my chanel bag and then the same croc leather boots as I was wearing earlier, and then a pair of barley, just like matte kind of leggings. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. What do we think? Do you like it? And then with trench coats in mind, seeing as I just mentioned them, I saw this one on Zara and it was one of their like kind of like key trench coats that they've released so far for autumn winter. And lots of you will know, I had the biggest struggle finding like trench coats, coats for like this kind of like winter and spring just gone. There were none anywhere. And I don't think we're going to have the same issue with retailers again this year, but I'm not taking any chances. So I'm going to be trying on all the coats and all the trench coats and all the jackets jackets this year because I really struggled to dress this winter. I just felt like there were such big gaps in my wardrobe and I really struggled to fill them. I have actually found one trench coat from Mango that I love. I also thought I would show you guys this one and give it a little try on. I like the fact that this one's much more informal. It's almost like a duster coat type trench coat instead of a very like traditional like double breasted. Is it double breasted kind? I really liked the tone of this. It's like a nice like muted oatmeal minky tone. I thought this would work really nicely with potentially like a pair of leggings, the black shirt. I thought that could be very cute. And yeah, it's a nice one because it's very, very light as well, which the trench coat that I have, I bought like in the winter months or just at the end of the winter months. So it's much thicker, whereas this is very nice and light. So we will try that on. I'll let you guys know what I think. I got it in a size small. It was 49.99, which I think is pretty good for a trench coat to be honest. So yeah, we will try that on. I'm excited. And then we have the duster coat, which is definitely one for wearing with heels because it is long, people. It is long. So this is kind of how it looks on. It is very, very long on me. I would kind of look a bit like David Tennant playing Doctor Who if I wore this with like my Converse. So I'm maybe gonna steer away from that and go for a shorter trench coat for that kind of look. Just, you know, it's not, it's not the vibe for me, but the trench coat is so nice. Or duster coat, should I say, because it's definitely more of a duster. It's so nice, I really like the color of it. I love how you can wear these like day or night and you can kind of like have it a bit more open, have some legs showing, or you can fully like just kind of close it up. I like to do a half bow with mine. 
because a full bow is too much and then no bow is like not enough. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I feel like maybe I could find better, but let me know what you guys think because it might sway me. But at the moment, I'm really like on the fence about this one. But I do like the whole look, especially with it just kind of open and the shirt kind of shining through underneath. It is a really, really cute look. So that is the kind of look I envisioned. I will confirm how I feel about this look in the info box once I've watched the footage back. Next, I have a couple of dress options. I know, I know. It is BJ coming up. There will be a whole video most likely on this, but I thought I would pick up a couple of dresses to show you guys in advance of that. This one I really loved. It's got this cute like strap situation that goes like across your chest. I really love that detail, like a proper like sweetheart kind of neckline, very fitted kind of like mini dress. I just thought this would be a perfect basic to have in my wardrobe, to be honest. I really like these kinds of dresses. I got this in a size small and it was 19.99, which I think is pretty, pretty good. I'm looking forward to trying this one on. It's gonna be such a great one for birthday week. Just if we have one of those like evenings where we're going out and I'm just not quite sure what to wear, this is like a great piece to have in your wardrobe that you just know, like if it fits well, praying it fits well. If it fits well, it's just gonna be one of those real like, heroes in my wardrobe that I will come back to again and again. I have a similar one in white, which has like these little tie bow straps from Topshop a few years back. And it's like in my wardrobe at all times. So cute for like daytime, cute like date type things, or even for like evenings out with like a cute pair of heels. It works really well. So this is basically like the winter version of that. Okay, this dress I really like, it's very fun. I really love, the little strap details across the chest I think is so cute. The length fits really well for me if you are taller. It's probably going to be a bit short on you, but selfishly, I'm very happy with it. I've just paired it with my June little sandals, which I really like. They really help to elongate your leg. They're very similar to the Bottega shoes, and I love them in the town because I do just find that they kind of like blend a little bit in with my leg, especially if I've got a little bit of fake tan on. Yeah, I really like this dress. The like material that it's made out of is like that perfect thickness where it's not too thick but it's not too thin it really feels like it's like holding me in i'm very very happy with this let me know what you think but personally i think it's just like a great one to keep in my wardrobe for those like impromptu dressy occasions would also look very cute with this bag does anyone want to take me anywhere because i really want to wear this outfit we then have this like blazer dress, which I love. Very like Jacquemus vibes. It's a mini dress. And how can I show you this? So it has, I don't know if you can see on my left, there's this cutout bit, <laughs> so hard to show you. So it's like a blazer dress, but there's like one side is like cut out. It's quite low at the front. I thought this could be really nice if it fits well, fingers crossed. I got this in a size small. I'm hoping it's gonna be fitted enough because I think if this is too loose, it's just gonna look a little bit weird also too small and it would look weird but yeah i think this one needs to be fitted so let's hope that i didn't need an extra small this is 49.99 it is very light very very lightweight which is good for this time of year especially if you're wearing like black and the evenings are still quite light you can get a bit warm it's got padded shoulders so i think the silhouette of this will be amazing very very glam though so this is not like this one where i could potentially just throw a leather jacket on with it and even like a pair of trainers and have it like dressy but casual if that makes sense this is like real real glam vibes but definitely a fun one if you're going out for your birthday so i'm looking forward to trying that on i've got something in my eye oh no doom doom okay let me tell you this dress took way too long to get into it is confusing as hell there is a zip here here and then there's like a band that goes all the way around and connect somewhere here with some poppers that feel flimsy as hell. So if I were to keep this, I would have to be doing some like extra sewing. There'd have to be some extra going on because they're gonna fall off. We also have real potential for like boob slip under here. I would definitely recommend some kind of boob tape to keep you all like secure. I'm also not sure where this band is meant to be. Is it meant to be like down here? Cause it doesn't really feel like it wants to sit there. Is this meant to be further up and is it too like big? I'm not sure. I feel like the band's meant to go somewhere and I'm not 100% sure where. But anyway, I've made the best of it. This is how I kind of think it's meant to look. It feels very short and I very rarely say that. If you are over 5'2", five 5'3", five I would give this one a miss because I feel like I may expose myself accidentally. Like there's a slit here. I feel like this may not be the dress for me, but it does look really, really cute if you just stand very 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 still which is sadly not what any of us want to be doing i think i'll give this one a miss 
but it is cute. Finally, I have a couple of coat options that I picked up. It's basically the same coat in two different colors because I had some decisions to make that I couldn't make there and then whilst ordering. I've not had a gray coat for maybe about five years. Like I honestly can't remember the last time I wore a gray coat. If anyone else can remember, that would be great. Please let me know because I actually can't remember if I've, I must have had one once at some point but i think it's been a very 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 long time since i've worn a gray coat but i really liked the tone of this one it was very simple in its silhouette i'm kind of wondering if that's not going to be such a great thing i'm not sure but it's a really nice simple kind of basic coat not too thick and heavy like a really nice one for early autumn winter or if you just don't like massively chunky coats during your winter if your winter is warmer if you as a person run warmer this could be a really great option i got this in a size small and it was 29.99 which i'm like i'm sorry what what is it gonna fit terribly i i honestly don't know we're gonna try them on we'll see i also picked it up in the black i thought that would be a really nice one for when i didn't want to wear basically i have a black coat from all saints which i love but it's got buttons on it it's got like a tie waist it feels a bit more formal sometimes whereas this is just kind of like open there's no buttons on it just very very simple and really a very different vibe even though it's a black coat but we all know i love 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 a black coat so i don't know if i'll probably opt for the black over the gray but i thought i'd give the gray a go because i haven't worn a gray coat in such a long time the one thing i would say is the materials of these feel like that material that is just gonna attract everything and that you're going to spend the rest of your life lint rollering and that i'm not super super keen on however my all saints one does also do that a little bit so for 30 pounds i really don't think you can go wrong so yeah i'm gonna try it on see how it fits it could just be not the one but i thought i'd give it a go anyway okay i'm not sure on these coats i'm not sure they were my finest purchase but i'm gonna throw them on anyway and you can let me know what you think so this is the gray i'm not sold on the gray i actually i've come back to it this is why i haven't worn a gray coat in years and years and years because i actually just don't think that they suit me all that well let me know if you guys disagree but i'm just really not sure that it's for me even though it's such a great neutral to have in your wardrobe the black coat which has already got my hair all over it this is the black coat i'm not sure you guys i'm not sure i think out of the two i definitely prefer the black to the gray i think it's much smarter and much more versatile but i do think the structure of them could be better i mean they're 30 pounds so you're really like getting what you're paying for here the black i think is so much easier to make it look a lot more premium but the fit for me is just not there's something that's not hitting right however if you were looking for an affordable coat i do think it's such a great purchase and such an easy piece to style up i'm just not sure it does look quite nice though with the shirt and the leggings and the boots i don't know if it's actually just like a bit too much of a boyfriend coat for me and maybe that's why i'm not like super sold what do you think are you seeing what i'm seeing do you guys love it let me know i would love to know so what were your favorite pieces and what were your least favorites let me know what you think i should keep or return in the comments below as always i'll kind of put my thoughts in the info box as well just to confirm what i'm keeping if anything it could all be a disaster who knows but let me know what your favorites were in the comments i always love hearing your thoughts that is going to be it for me today i hope you enjoyed seeing my favorite picks from the zara new section i love you all lots and i'll see you guys again very very soon Love you, bye.